hello there everyone this is phantom duels here and today i am going to be doing what if deku was the reincarnation of mihawk and was neglected well you heard me right this is going to be my second neglected yeah <laughs> yeah my second so my so i'm going to start off where izuku was born and this one izuku's father will be all my being his stepfather and before i continue i'm going to say one more thing in this series in this i'm gonna i'm gonna make part two after i make my other new what if which is gonna be two what ifs two new what ifs then i make part two and then part three of gojo since there's a lot of people who really I'm just gonna make part three of Gojo and Part three yeah, part three of Gojo when I'm done with part two of the other se of the other new series that I have to make. So I'm gonna make a star. Isuku was born. Yes. Izuku was born. At the beginning of this, of Izuku being born, he was born with one more sibling. Her name, her name was, uh, her name was Izumi. Yeah, Izumi. Izumi was, Izumi was, was, uh, what am I gonna say for this? Isumi and this one will be not like Isuku. <laughs> like I ever make anyone like anyone in the series. So yeah. Isumi and this one. No, not Isumi. So yeah. Isumi and Isuku are twins in this one. When Isuku was four years old, Bakugo unlocked this quirk. He. He treated Izuku like trash and then started to call him Deku. As he said, you useless Deku. You can't even do anything right. Then, then Izuku didn't do anything. All he did was let, let Bakugo hit him. As he said, catch him. Why are you doing that? You're not supposed to be treating people like this if you want to become a hero. Then. Then Isuku. Then Isuku got mad. Got. Got attacked by. Bakugo and his goons. As they attack Isuku with. All the shrink. Meaning. Not holding back. I don't get it and I don't get it why. I just wanted to make him. Before I wanted to. Unlock the yellow eyes of Mihawk. By getting angry. So. You're going to be seeing what I mean when he unlocks. The Mihawk quirk. Then. Not his own quirk, it's the actual ability. Dang, what am I thinking? Then, a few moments later, when Izuku was badly damaged, Izuku went home with dragging his leg. He was like, huh? Huh? Uh, I have to make it home. Huh? Huh? Uh, why do it have to be me? And as Izuku started to feel pain on his eyes coming, his eyes. Was starting to turn yellow. They they started to grow yellow orange lines. The same thing that you see on the screen right now. That's Izuku's eyes right now. That's Izuku's eyes went orange and yellow. And remember, they still haven't gotten their quirk examination. So, ah, uh, I feel better for the person for Izuku. I'm about to do some bad things to this poor kid. Then Izuku. Then a few moments later, Izuku. 
He said who got up from the pain of his eyes and said, what happened? Why am I in pain? As he saw a puddle of water and looked into the puddle of water and, and, and was like, oh, I look different. This might be my quirk as he went happy, but he still had so much pain on his body. So he started to, so he started to get home. As he got home, he said, Mom, Dad, look. One more thing. Toshinari. And when I mean Toshinari, I, I'm i saying, Oh my, it's, it, oh my, it's Izuku's father. Stepfather, not actual father. I'm sorry to say, it. stepfather. <sighs> For... Mm. <laughs> to make it more interesting, let's say that he's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forget about it now. Uh, oh my, is Isuku's stepfather. Yep. So yeah, Isuku was... Like, Mom, Dad, look, I... I I think I unlocked my quirk. As, he, as all my came in and said, "Oh, Izuku." Oh, Izuku as Inko came in and said, "Oh, Izuku, you have a lucky quirk." Then Izuku says, "Yes, I think I did." Because when they looked at his eyes, they saw that his eyes were a different color. They were no longer green. They were black. No, they were orange and yellow. Why am I doing this? Oh, God, I'm about to... I am doing so many things wrong. Yes. So, yeah. Izuku was... Kind of excited because... in the next day, his mom and dad said they were going to take him to get his quirk examination. So... Get ready, we're here he comes with the good part. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good part. So yeah, it was Izuku's turn. Then Then we go to the next day. Izuku was getting his quirk examination with Izumi. Izumi was hell of mad with I Izuku unlocking his quirk first. She was pissed. And I mean pissed. She she wanted to kill him, but she didn't have a quirk. So that's about a change. <laughs> and when I mean that's about a change, I mean it's about a change. So yeah. Izuku was So Izuku, uh, Izuku was holding his mom's hand, smiling, as Izumi was kind of sad. As Izumi was smiling too, but in her head she was like, hey, I will unlock a powerful quirk and kill you, you loser. And this one, Izumi, oh my god. When she finds out that she betrayed the wrong person, ah, my mom, she's about to get beaten up. And I mean beaten up real bad. And then a few moments later, a few moments later, we cut to where Izuku is at the quirk assessment. And I don't mean the Hiwe one, I mean the one where he checks his quirk. Then Izuku got, got, got the quirk with his sister as the doctor came in and said, well, Mrs. Madora, I got good and bad news. Then, then uh, Isuku's mother, Inko. Oh, Jesus, I'm almost forgetting Inko's name. <laughs> okay, as he said, uh, well, Mrs. Madora, I got something to say. You, would you like to hear the bad or good news? Then... Then Isuku says, no, then Inko says, uh, I would like, I would like the good news. Then Isuku, then Isuku, then Isuku's mother picks a good news and says, well, your daughter has a strong telekinesis quirk. 
And this one, I'm going to say the Toshinari, aka Oh My, has a fire quirk instead of Izuku's father from the, the anime. Oh, yeah, I knew it. That was another one. Yeah. So, yeah. Izuku. Izuku's. Uh, no, she. And uh, he says, Your daughter, uh, uh, Izumi, has a strong telekinesis. Has a strong telekinesis. Manip has a strong telekinesis. You no know, manipulation. A strong manipulation over fire. Then. Then, uh, Isumi was looking at Isuku and just, oh, stick out her tongue at him as Isuku did the same. Then Ingo said, okay, kid, stop. Then they get, listen to the mother and stop, to their mother and stop. So then, um, to then we go to the bad news. Then the doctor said, your son is quirkless. When Ingo heard this, she was disappointed. <laughs> Oh, guys, you're so bad. Why did I have to do this for the, to a kid this young? Yep, I'm the creator. So what's the point? Then, then a few moments later, we go to. Then we go to when Inko got out of the, of the, of the quirk doctor. They were walking around. They were like close to their house. Yes. As Inko was holding Izuku by the hand really hard. She was like had a she had a tight grip on his on his hand. She said, Mom, Mom, what happened? Mom? Mom, stop it hurts. Then Izumi was like, ha ha. The little person who unlocked this quirk first is now it's now a nobody. As Inkle says, Izumi, good. Now keep treating your brother like that. When Izuku heard this, his heart went broken. He thought that his mother cared about him. But when he heard but when he heard this, he just gave up. What's the point he said in his head? When Mihawk was hearing this, he was like, oh, nah, mm-mm. I need to train this kid before something bad happens. But he couldn't. Every time that she tried, all the chances, all the chances that he got were literally broken because... Were broken because of Bakugo. Getting because of Mitsuki's mother, because of Makoto's mother, Mitsuki, getting there and healing Yuzuku and taking Yuzuku to the hospital. And this one, not everyone is mean to, to quirkless people. But so, why the heck would you treat a person who is quirkless too, 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 too nice? I'm not saying too, too nice. Why? Tell me just why. That's what they're saying in the hats. Second part, Izuku was. Izuku was in his head. No, Izuku was walking. Mm. Izuku was walking to the house. As Inko and Izumi and him got to the house, she grabbed Izuku, threw him. She grabbed his sick and threw him. And threw him into his room and locked the door. Then when Izuku saw this, he was like, Mom, Mom, why are you doing that? Mom. Then she, so then she said, Don't call me Mom, you quirkless loser. Then. Uh, if you guys hear that, I'm sorry. Then Izuku said, I'm. I'm quirkless? Then he suddenly said, Yes, you are. I knew it from the beginning that you were a quirkless nerd. Oh, so he said, Give us. 
I am not gonna get angry at this. Because in this one, the only thing that he actually got was the eyes and the mentality. That's the only thing I'd actually say. Okay. God, no. So, yeah. Isuku. Isuku was. Hmm. Isuku was. Kind of. Kind of sad and mad at the same time, but. Uh, Ah, he didn't really care. He had the same mentality as mm, Mihawk. All he did was read and mind his own business because he didn't. He didn't want to. He didn't want to get in a fight with his family, so he just stayed in his room. When oh my god, got back to the house. Got back to. Got back to his house. He said. I'm home, Inko, Izumi, Izuku, Izumi came running and said, Dad! Then Inko came came to to all my and said, Toshinari, our son is quirkless. Then Toshinari said, Who? Izuku? Then, then Izu, then. Okay. Sorry, I felt paused for a minute. I was reading something. Yeah. Then Isuku came and was like, hi, dad. Then. Then. Uh, then. Uh, hmm, uh, uh, let's say this to make it even more worse. Then when Isuku said, hi, dad, he asked, he asked, Inko and said, Inko, who said who said my name? Then Inko, then Inko was like, wait, what? What do you mean, Toshinari? When Toshinari her, I mean, we only have our precious daughter, Izumi here, right? We don't have anybody else in the house. Then, then Toshin, then, uh, let's say, to make it even more weird, then. Inko caught on to what he was doing and said, yeah, you're, yeah, you're right. We only have our precious daughter. We only have our precious daughter, Izumi, here. We don't have anybody who's quirkless looking at Izuku. As Izuku was like, oh, I, I know what they're doing. What's the point of me caring then? Uh, the second part where Izuku was... Was kind of mad, angry at the same time, but from what's the point? He said to his head, "In this world, in this mind, in the world, everybody only cares about power." And as Isoku said to himself, "That I one day I will show them what true power is." So, so we're gonna be doing. So, Isoku was. Uh, um, um, <laughs> so yeah, Isuku was looking at his mom and dad and said, "So this is the this is what I get from from trying my hardest to even living. This is what at the end I get right, looking at Toshinari and Inko and said, Inko." Should I say, Mom, you have been treating me like a person, not like a person. You've been treating me like garbage, like if I was nothing. But let me ask you something, Inko. Have you, have you ever felt like you're nothing? Have you ever felt like no one cared about you? Have you ever felt like even your own mother would just kill you? Will just kill you for anything just because you don't have power. But have you seen the things that I can do with these eyes? As he said, look at that house over there. What do you think they're doing? As they both look over there and said, what house should we know? I think they're just cooking or something. As he said, wrong. 
One is in the bathroom, the other one is cooking some sushi or something like that. Then they ask, but how can you do that? As the sushi says, that's the thing. You didn't, you guys didn't want to check on me. So, I'll just leave. Azizuku, Azizuku just went back to his room and closed the door. Everything went the same. Nobody really cared about Azizuku. As two days later, two days later, uh, Toshinari decided to give his quirk to, to, uh, let's say, to Izumi. As Izumi said, but how about Izuku? Then he can become, then he can at least have a quirk. Then Toshinari said, he, he still, but he is weak. Remember, what, it would be better if you have it. You have a strong quirk. As Izuku heard this, he was next to the refrigerator as he literally kicked the refrigerator, making it fall off. When Toshinari saw this, he was like, what? A main strength. Then, then he said that aloud, making Izuku just look at him and said, Shut the hell up. As Toshin, then All oh Might said, What do you what do you just say? As Izuku just put his hand in a fist and literally just punch All oh My straight at the face and said, I said to shut up. Then Inko came in and tried to attack Izuku. As Izuku just said, I said to you for you two to shut the hell up. Then. Then. Suddenly, Inko went unconscious. And you guys want to know why she went unconscious? Because I am giving him all of the hockeys. He's even he's even getting Conqueror's hockey for, for God's sake. What's the point? So why not to give it to him? Since he's almighty powerful already. It would be bad if I didn't give him uh if I didn't give him what do you how do you call it? Uh the conqueror hockey, yeah. That's all. He's not get conqueror hockey. That's one thing that makes him different. So yeah. Isuku was a bit shocked about the power, but just went off. He grabbed, he grabbed a bag, but grabbed food and just left. He kept walking and walking and just left his house, left the city, and just got a paddle boat and started paddling to an island. It took him at least, let's say this was early in the morning, at 11 of the morning. He got there like at 3, simple. When he got there at three, there was a house and there was graves. The castle was full of monkeys that were trying to attack Izuku, but Izuku just said, stand down. As the conqueror Haki made all of the monkeys stand down. Then Izuku just smiled at this and kept walking. He just walked into the castle and locked the door. The monkeys were afraid of him. As Izuku was... Searching through the castle, as he found this sword, the sword you, you see in the corner named Yuru, Yoro, Yaru, Yaru, Jesus, I can't say it, Yaru or Yoro, yeah, I think it was ya Yoru, yeah, Yoru, yeah, Yoru, mm -hmm. he found out the sword that it said Yoru, then he just grabbed it and suddenly he got, um, he went unconscious. Once he went unconscious, the sword, the, the sword made him go unconscious to meet Mihawk. As he met Mihawk and said, "So you finally came, boy, right?" Then Izuku says, "So you're the person that has been giving me this power. I should have known." Then, then Izuku was like, "Oh, so you knew it was me." All this time. Then Izuku just looked at him and said. I, I knew someone was giving me power. To even live in this house. You know how they've been treating me right? As Izuku said. 
Then, then me all looked at him and said, How couldn't I know you wouldn't find out sooner or later? Then me, then me all laughed at his secret and said, No, me and you are very alike. Just that we have been, we have lived two different, we have lived two different type of lives, but you and me are so much alike. That nobody really would wonder who we are. So how about this kid? I will train you to become powerful. And then one day to get back at your family. Do we have a deal? As Isuku as Isuku think thought about it. As he looked at the man and was like, Okay, I will agree with you. So Mihawk and Isuku has been training on to master the swordsmanship. Because Mihawk is literally a full on master of swordsmanship. He should be able to master that. So, yeah. Oh, Isuku had a prodigy, prodigy, prodigy genes to learn swordsmanship quick because of Mihawk. So, he learned the swordsmanship under two weeks. And because of it, and because of learning it under two weeks, he was able to master the master the way to make his sword go black and have an, and have like an, another armor on top of it, so it won't be able to be destroyed. That Isuku learned that really quick. As he, then, Mihawk was kind of jealous. This kid was able to learn one of his. Most powerful tricks that took him more long to learn in under two weeks in the outside world, but a year and under the real and under his mind, as Mihawk was saying, was it us in his head? Well, he was giving Isuku a blank look, but in his head, he was giving he was giving her uh, Isuku uh, the sad look, which makes it kind of interesting. We never seen Mihawk cry in the, in the in the my hero in the one piece world i wish i would but it's not really it's really hard to get that guy to even to even give you a sad look so comment down below if you guys have seen mihawk ever cry or be sad if you guys have seen say i have seen tap it in the comment because i would definitely love to find out when in the heaven would did this guy ever cry? Because what's the point? This man is literally heartless sometimes in the in the series. So yeah, let's continue. Mihawk training Suku on swordsmanship. So he's uh, literally at the level of Mihawk and only one year in his brain. Mindscape. But in the real world, he, it's only been two weeks. As Hisuku's body in the outside world has started to change. It started to grow... To let's say not Mihawk's height because then he'll be looking like a goddamn grown up. <laughs> so it was, it was, uh, now I'm gonna have to search it up. Mihawk was, yeah, let's just say he's 6.3 feet tall now. So he's technically the same height as my Asta Wade, so he's pretty tall. His hair went black, but it has tip or green tips, green tips. So you'll still know that it's Isuku if you look at the green tips. And when Isuku was done training on his swordsmanship on his brain, Miyak had to get out of his brain and go fight against the monkeys to get in, to gain experience. As Isuku was. Train, train. He got out of the, the his brain, out of his mindscape, and and went on to train, to train on, to train against the monkeys. Every time that the monkeys try to attack Izuku, he would just dodge and dodge and dodge and dodge, as he just used one, only his normal punch and punch the monkey. As the monkeys will be sent flying, because in this one Izuku's body will be hardened enough without hockey. Then, when Mihawk was watching, he saw that Isuku's punches were turning black all of a sudden. Then, that when the monkey tried to attack him with a sword, an aura 
of uh, spiritual uh, spiritual energy was covering Suku as he saw hockey is starting to appear on this kid. How amazing as Mihawk was so shocked that a kid at this age could easily learn hockey. And remember, Izuku will be gone until he's... And the day that he left, Izuku was actually... Ah, ooh, e. Let's say 10 years old. So he has been bullied since he was 4 the way to nine years old, to 10 years old. I didn't want to explain his life because I already explained enough with the Toshi Narifa. So back to Izumi. Izumi has been getting trained by All Might and in uh Enko on her on her manipulation because it's like it's like a psychic ability but Enko can easily teach her. So yeah, I'm not gonna explain more about that. And in this one, uh Jesus Christ so save my life. How am I gonna figure out who let's say I'm gonna say this. Two people are going to be in the ship. Any of you guys that comment two people in the comment, in the comments down below, I will pick two people from the comments to be in the ship. So, if you guys have any people, anybody that you want them to be in the ship, I will definitely be grateful to put them. And the second question, how many people will you guys want to be on the ship of... What if Deku had Neptune's powers? And I mean, it's technically like a harem. Just uh, maybe 30 to 20. No, not maybe 30 to 20 girls. I'm not kidding. So yeah, I was t I'm was. i technically going to ask this once. How many people... If you guys comment down below. How many people would you want Izuku to be shipped with? It could be 20. It could be 20 to 30. Or how much you guys want. Just comment it down below. And the ship for this one, you guys can pick. I won't really care. Because Izuku will be in, in UA in his first year when he's 17 or 16. Second year will be 6. Yeah, let's just say that. Six, 16 years has passed since Izuku left. No, he, le he left when he was 10. And yeah, let's say that 6 years has passed when Izuku left. And you may only start when you're 16. When Hisuku was 16, he has... We're going to skip only when he was 14. Hisuku has been training with Mihawk on the outside world. He, Mihawk was just talking to him through his mind. He has been training with Mihawk on... On how to control his hockey. How to use armament hockey. And how to use observation hockey to the full extent of his eyesight. As Hisuku has... The same eyesight as Mihawk, uh, the as Mihawk when he decided to stop, to give up his title to, to bot to. Uh, if you guys hear that loud noise, I'm sorry. He gave up his title to. Yeah, so um, he he has the same eyesight as Mihawk, so he's really strong now. Let's say this will be my. Six OP character. I am planning on making them. I am planning on making this one OP at the beginning. And I don't care. <laughs> if any of you guys have suggestions for what if you guys want. I can literally just start working on it. If you guys make a comment I can start working because. You know what. The first person that comments uh, what if that they want will be getting it so i'll be first person first so technically whoever types a water that they want first well they'll get it first so um but if so i'm gonna be sending out two what ifs this will be my new one and then i'll make a new one tomorrow and if i if i see a comment that says about a what if that people want i am making another what if there'll be three i'll make three tomorrow with Two today, not two today. One today. So, the new one tomorrow will be an Ise what if, and the other one will be a Deku what if. But it will be what if Deku had a time magic, 
and I mean like, dang, too OP. And the next one will be uh, uh, just to give you a heads up, it's a solo leveling one, <laughs> so you know how easy it will look like. Yeah, then Isuku was done training. We go back to the on Conquer. Isuku had to learn on his own. No, let's say that Mihawk had information on, on Conquer. So he was able to learn it real fast. Then we go back to the 16 years old Izuku. Mihawk said to Izuku that it's time to go back to the other, uh, the, back to go back to his main home. As Izuku said, already, I've been having a good time living here. And yes, Izuku's tone has changed. So that's why I'm having a darker and sadder tone. As Izuku said, already, I've been having a better time here than over there. Then, then Mihawk says, I know, but it's time for you to go back to class, to school. Didn't you say you wanted to become a hero? With this power you have, you can become any hero you want. Even the number one hero. As Isuku started to think and said, Finally, I have the power to take, it, to take the number one place from that old man. He doesn't deserve the number one spot. Then Mihawk heard this and was like proud. So then Mihawk said, and you will become the number one swordsman of this whole world. Then Isuku said, yes, I will. When Isuku got up from his chair, and this one Isuku got Mihawk's habit. He started to drink wine and read books. And he was only reading books of... Uh, 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 sorrow when he was you wandering around the world with Luffy's group. So yeah, I'm gonna be also doing a, a another One Piece series, but that'll be after I create the solo leveling and the time magic that somebody wanted it. So I'll be making it too. But first, I have to release part three of. Part two of what if Deku? Uh, this is part yeah a part two of what if Deku was yeah a part two of a Deku what if that I have made. No, yeah once I make part two part three of the uh, betrayal Issei Gojo. After I make the solo leveling time magic and betrayal Issei Gojo, I'll make a third. A third new one that'll be that'll be the one that you, one of you guys comment that so comment on the com on the comments in this what if if you comment on this what if the one that you want I'll make that one so I'll be making the uh oh, Jesus time ma I'll make the time magic one and the easy one. At the same time and not upload it tomorrow. So that's gonna be like that. As Isuku just left the island. Having the same clothes that Mihawk wear. Just imagine. Uh, nah, imagine Mihawk just with tips of green hair and no beard. And just the same eyes and that's all. And Isuku just wears the same style that Mihawk wear. And he even has a necklace that looks like a cross. It's actually a sword. So yeah. Isuku just went to the UA entrance and entrance exam. As he re as he reached the entrance exam and first did the test. Bakugo and Izumi has started dating. So yay, bully team has been creative. Yep, I know. I really don't like the bully team. <laughs> so yeah. Isumi and Bakugo were sitting next to each other as they saw me as they saw Mihawk, aka Isuku. Isuku Mihawk. Or we can call him Draco Draco Mihawk because he won't tell people his real name yet. Yet. Not until the sports festival. Which I'm gonna get to because I like this series. 
And usually of all my Deku series, I don't get to the sports festival that early. But if in my Omni King, if in my Omni King, I didn't get to the sports festival, on part four, I will. I freaking will. And on my Minato no Mikasa one, if I didn't, I will too. <laughs> But on the Seraph of the End one, I think I wouldn't be able to because that that is in the world of the Seraph of the End. So I am technically pausing the Seraph of the End series for a few months or time. So you won't be able to see that series for quite a long while because I, I might have deleted this, the pictures. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll try to find it. So... That series will be paused for now. So yeah, let's. I'm gonna continue. Isuku was was technically passing all the tests because he has the knowledge of Mihawk. So he got first place on the exam. He was at equal smart with Nesu as Nesu was surprised as he said, "S rank." He has an S rank smartness like me. As Nesu said, finally, as someone as smart as me. Giving that anime tier. The next one would be the part particle, not the fighting the robots which is quite par, which I'm gonna make easy for All Might to recognize who this is. Because I want it to be, I want All Might to suffer. I, like I said, in the, in the one series, which if I make a series that All Might like. Isuku, that would be my, that would be a series that I get recommended from somebody to make, that's the only time that I'll make All My Like Isuku, if someone recommends All My Liking Isuku, I will, I don't care, so yeah, as Isuku was getting ready to the test, Isuku started to walk as Ida, the one and only Ida, the spoiler brat kid started to think started to think Izuku was walking towards that girl. Ochako Araka, the girl that I freaking hate with a patch passion. I am telling you. From the beginning of the anime, I even I literally knew that girl was a freaking cheater. <laughs> I don't like Uraka. I'm sorry for the people that like her, but I don't. So yeah. Izuku just kept walking to the front as Ida grabbed Izuku and said, What are you going to do to that girl? You're just trying to ruin her chances of joining you, mate. As Izuku says, I don't like, I don't like talking to people. So if you don't take your hands off me right now, I will send you up to hell with only one arm. And not even the devil himself will save you. Saying all those stuff, as Ida said, you're not supposed to be threatening your other comrade. As Ida saw the conquer, when Izuku used conquer on Ida, he saw what Izuku's, Izuku was. As he said, this, this kid is the embodiment of a demon. When he looked at Izuku, all he saw was the shadow of, a, of the demon king. And then Izuku just said, then Ida said, yes, I, I won't touch you again. Then Isuku said, good, now leave. Then Ida just went off. Isuku just went to the front. Then Isuku started to run. He just ran and started to slash. He only used the small sword that Mihawk had on his necklace that looked like a cross. That sword, he only used that. I don't know who's seen that. Izuku was only slashing with a small sword, and they were able to break the robot. As Izuku easily got at least five hundred points, at least a good amount, nine hundred and fifty, nine hundred and fifty points. So he knew nobody would catch up to him, and his and his sister, she got fifth place, meaning she only got a hundred. Bakugo, third place, meaning he only got three hundred to three hundred. And the second place will be uh, the ship. Yep. The second place will be the ship that you guys pick. Then Izuku was looking, just start, 
just decided to sit down. He jumped. All the people who seen that when he jumped, he didn't left any craters. When he jumped, he landed on the, on top of a roof and sat down. As he looked at the view, he saw the zero pointers and saw Uraraka was under the rock. I really didn't like wanting to do this, but I have to. As you could just show the sword and disappear. As the swords were as when the heroes saw Isuku, saw Isuku holding Uraraka in his hands on top of the roof again, they saw that the seer pointer had a, at least a million slashes on him. Like tiny. Every time that they kept going, they went deeper, tinier, tinier, making them go into a million. As Isuku put the sword back on his back again, and the seer pointer was destroyed. Bakugo and Uraraka used this. No, Bakugo and, and, uh, who, yeah, and Izumi s saw this and then they decided to use the quirk to increase their vision because All Might taught them that as she, as they did and they saw who this was and they saw the tips of green and the attitude because Izuku, when he left, he was more meaner and they said, Isuku. Then Isuku just put her rock right in front of uh, Recovery Girl and started to walk. And walk. That's when he reached the door. President Mike, Nesu, Aizawa. Im imagine an army of heroes appearing right in front of you. And I mean pro heroes that were working in, in UA. We're literally standing in front of Isuku saying... Young men, will you please tell us your name? Because you kept your name blank on the, on everything. So may we know your name. Then Isuku saw All Might and just smiled and said, Yes, you may know my name. My name is Isuku Mihawk. When All Might, Izumi, Bakugo heard this, they were all shocked and said, No! Isuku left 10, 16 years ago. As Isuku just laughed and said, Kachan, you never change. Oh, little sister Izumi. How, how are you? No, he just said, I knew. I'm kidding, he didn't say little sister Izumi. I just wanted to do that. Then he said, So, you're here too, looking at Izumi. And he said, how was life living with that power hungry bastard looking at all my and he said Toshinari Or should I say father? Then Isuku just looked at them and said I am Isuku Mihawk If he tells you that I'm Isuku Madoria, I abandoned the, Mano the, Mad the Madoria name years ago So I will be leaving now I hope I get to meet you again. I saw a Nassim President Mike, giving them a warm smile while he looked at All Might and just gave him a death glare. And just he was conquering him and the demon spoke for him and said, You better hope I don't come after you. That's All Might just went unconscious. Then Izumi asked, What did you do to my father? As Izuku said, Your power hungry father is just weak. And Izuku just left. He bought an apartment before coming, so he's fine. So this is where I'm going to leave it off. Before I end it off, I'm going to ask a question. How many per people would you like to be in the ship of? What if Deku was Neptune, has Neptune's powers? So, and, and comment down below what ship would you want Mihawk to have? It could be anyone, just to not bring other enemies, just bring the One Piece anime or the My Hero Academia. But still, my main question is to ship for this one and how many people will you want to be shifted with Isuku for the Neptune What If. So, bye. Thank you so much for watching. This was Phantom Duels here and bye.